Medical Tip Tuesday with Dr. K. So taking those vowels, the E to the pure O, closed O as an only and not A uh, or vague A uh, or vague A, uh, <clears throat> you can bring the space and the ring, the feeling at the top of the skull, to keep a constancy of spin and keep these uh, permanency of vibration idea going. You can do it into a full scale. So, V O V V O V V O. Maintain the ring of the E as you go into the purity of the O. V O. You see how the ring, the space of the E, believe it, goes into the ring of the O. V O V V O V. And the beauty, the beauty of the O is that it puts your larynx in a position where it's already to just tilt right into the ah. V O. The V, v the V consonant connects you to your engagement of the lower abdomen. You can breathe like this to get the gasoline element, the pear shape, where the breath is ready to go this way. You should sing higher. V O V. Because as we sing higher, we never want to drive air up. Very important. So it's something to think about. The smoothness of from one vowel to the next, the purity of vowel, V O, finding the vowel internal and never letting it be vague unless it's an open vowel. But even that, you still want to be related to the closed vowel before you open it. V O, V O. kind of sings itself because it's connected to the breath below and the vowel is ready to resonate straight up and be connected to the diction here yeah the uh, so that that balance of breath to diction diction to focus is working simultaneously the whole time i hope this helps you it's a wonderful exercise you can take it as high as you're comfortable and make it as smooth as possible yay